Congratulations to Oli Yade, uh, the acting chief of army staff. But the question is, why are we having an uh, acting chief of army staff? We're, when the military, a couple of weeks ago, come out, came out to say that they have somebody already in act, somebody that will, you know, hold the fort for him. I think that was supposed to be the person in charge of, you know, uh, doctrines and thereabouts. I, I don't really know how that gamut was. And deliberately, the military, in fact, did come out to say that there was no body that had been appointed in the acting capacity uh, for uh, General Tarid Lagbaja. So the question is, why all of a sudden the president now appointing somebody in an acting capacity? And I think Nigerians would like to know this morning, what's the state of health of General Tarid Lagbaja? The only side of the story we've heard all this while is that the president spoke to him. He said he's recuperated and all of that. Now they were putting someone in an acting capacity. What is going on? Because if the military waited all this while and they said they were, you know, somebody was already reporting as regards to, is it that the job couldn't wait again? And what is going to be the lot of this acting capacity? So for me, I'm even more curious about the state of health. And I, and I think at this point in time, the military should also help us, you know, probably with a live video or something. But, you know, the, the question is, live videos in this country, you can speak all you want about them but all right so before i give you a little analysis of the video you're about to watch i want to remind you something that biafra is a peaceful kingdom and biafrans are peaceful and lovely people yes i said this because a lot of people has come to my dm a lot of people have been you know coming on the comment section to say that biafra is this biafra is that biafra is that and i know most of them saying this are saying it out of what they've had what of what people our enemies have told them so that is why they carry that in mind but i decide to use this medium to try or find a way to you know change that narrative to remind them or to tell them that biafra is peaceful and biafrans are lovely people believe in me that is what it is so having said this i will say may god bless biafra now back to the video that you're about to watch i saw this video this morning where you know um arise tv was you know begging nigerian government and nigerian army to release the video of you know the chief of army staff that has been flewed abroad for some medical treatment you know the chief of staff was flewed abroad some weeks ago for medical treatment but there's been news flying around that the man don't cry and nigerian government never talks say he don't cry abi never cry nigerian army never talks say he don't cry abi never cry nobody don't talk but i want to remind you something that there was a prophecy that was prophesied about that yes that simon Epa made a tweet saying that he will not come back alive simon Epa made that tweet and then when i saw this news this morning where a tv channel is begging the government to release the video of chief of army staff that is sick and is in some way in abroad they are begging like begging should be, should we be begging them for this if he is still alive we shouldn't this is something that they will do because why they actually started saying all this is that the president president bola metinubu has appointed a new chief of uh, a new acting chief of staff general uh, major general femi yes he has appointed a new acting chief of staff meanwhile we don't know the uh, uh, condition of the uh, of the other chief of staff all right so let them show us the video so when i saw this news i remember what simon Epa tweeted and i was asking myself ah, she simon Epa don't become prophet we go prefer we go prophesy something you go come <laughs> what do you think <laughs> it will come happen because as you don't reach now we'll be say tv channel they beg nigerian government and nigerian army let they release the video and we say something don't they work on our way they know one make we know you know that kind of thing so please i will allow you to watch this video I will allow you to watch this video where the TV channel, you know, said, uh, uh, was begging the federal government to release the video. All right. But please, as you're watching it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right. So please watch it. He said he's recuperated and all of that. Now they were putting someone in an acting capacity. What is going on? Because if the military waited all this while and they said they were, you know, somebody was already reporting as regards to, is it that the job couldn't wait again? and what is going to be the lot of this acting capacity so for me i'm even more curious about the state of health and i and i think at this point in time the military should also help us you know 
probably with a live video or something. But, you know, the, the question is, live videos in this country, you can speak all you want about them, but it's not the real case sometimes. So I am more confused. It's supposed to be something that the military ranks are supposed to be excited about in an acting capacity, but I'm more confused this morning. And I think Nigerians also deserve a right to be able to know the state of health of General Lagbaja this morning. So, I, I mean, and my phone had been ringing off the hooks since yesterday. A lot of questions. And I, like you said rightly, there was a rumor going around that we debunked as fake news, that the military debunked as fake news. And we thought all of that has been laid to rest. But in all of this now, there's another new twist. When you're putting something in acting capacity, we're really reeling our profile and all of that. So, is it that after reading our profile, when General Tao reads Lagbaja comes, this person will have to step aside? So, why are we in a haste? Or are we not sure? What is really going on? So, this appointment has left me even more confused this morning. And I think in the coming days, the military should be able to give us, you know, some clarity as regards it. You know, probably General Tao reads Lagbaja will wish him the very best of health, but at some point, we should be able to get even a public address, you know. I know you say, yes, he's not an elected official and all of that, but this is a military chief at a time when Nigeria is, you know, going through a lot security-wise. So we really need to know, and, and it's that level of accountability we need to know, so that if they give us this information, we'll be able to tackle many other sides or many other sides of the story saying all sorts at this point in time. But I must confess to you, all the way from Riyadh, Saudi this morning, with that news when I saw it break yesterday, I'm even more confused, to say the least. So Rufai is saying he's more confused and um, in terms of how important or the, the importance attached to that role, Chief of Army Staff, is why I thought the President decided to appoint an acting Chief of Army Staff. The person we we're referring to was the Chief of Policy and Plans Army whom the Army in a statement had said that usually he deputizes for the Chief of Army Staff when he's either on official leave or he's unable to attend an event. And so we saw that happen and then almost a week later we now see a substantive acting Chief of Staff. It points to a number of things. Number one, it probably points to the fact that um, the chief of staff, uh, chief of army staff is possibly going to be out for a much longer time than the end of the month that was projected. That's one. Number two is that perhaps the, the reason for him being abroad in terms of undergoing treatment might be quite a serious issue. And on that note, I sympathize, empathize with him and his family, and I pray for speedy recovery because no one wants to be you know, in ill health. So on that human side of things, I pray that he is able to recover fully and he comes back on duty. In terms of the transparency, yes, Rufai, and you've noted this right from the very beginning, and this is what gives room to speculations, where someone can then go on their ex um, account and begin to speculate that perhaps the chief of army staff has even, you know, um, is no longer alive, which is quite sad, especially when there's no official statement from either the presidency, the army, or his family members. And that honor should be given to any man, irrespective of position. I think, I believe that a man should have the right to his private to a certain extent, even as a public official. However, there are certain limits to that. So it, it, it leaves the, the challenge with this uh, with secrecy is that it leaves a lot of room for, uh, you know, for rumors, for unfounded statements, for people to begin to hatch plans that may not, you know, may not all go well for the country. Now, for the security of the nation, we've talked about how security is very critical at this time. And so that's why I do support this move for the appointment of a substantive acting chief of, chief of army staff. We know how things can go when it comes to hierarchy, who is giving the command, will they obey or follow, even though the assurance given to us earlier was that, the, you know, the army runs, the, you know, it's run, it, it runs in a disciplined manner and they know who is the next in line. But let's see how this works out. But our prayers are with uh, Lieutenant General Tawarid Lagbaja and we pray that he is, you know, back on his feet and healthy and back to work. Bimba. Absolutely. I, uh, <clears throat> I would like to begin by wishing uh, Lieutenant General Tawarid Lagbaja a speedy recovery. Uh, and uh, I hope that he is given the privacy that uh, he deserves to go through the process he is going through uh, and return back to duty. However, I'm glad you mentioned the word hierarchy, Ayo, because when we speak about military, hierarchy is paramount. Now, when the statement was made from uh, Brigadier General Hassau, I believe it was, just about 10 days ago, concerning a potential vacuum in leadership in the army, it was said that army protocols dictate that the chief of policy and plans is the person who fills in in any event that the chief of army staff is unavailable. Now, again, in the spirit of hierarchy, that is the, most, the next most senior person after the chief of army staff, and that is um, uh, Major General Abdul Salami Bagudu Ibrahim.
So the question is that if an acting chief of army staff is to be appointed, why is it not the most senior man in line, the next man in line? Because remember, in the military, hierarchy is paramount. That's how the military works. It works with order. However, the uh, commander in chief has uh, chosen uh, Major General uh, Olu Yede, who, of course, is also a very uh, well decorated uh, uh, officer by all means. But the question is is he not, uh, is the uh, Major General Abdul Salamu Bagudu Ibrahim, who is most senior to him in rank, now supposed to take orders from his somebody who is slightly more junior to him? That's a question because that, that doesn't happen. It's more or less blasphemy in the army. So I'd love for that to be clarified. Another thing that was uh, stated in the statement from uh, the army last week, and I quote directly that Contrary to speculation by certain media out, let me read the whole statement. It said the defense headquarters wishes to clarify that it has not announced the appointment of any senior officer as the acting chief of army staff, contrary to speculation by certain media outlets. For the record, no such appointment exists within the armed forces of Nigeria. End quote. That's a direct quote from the army. So why are we now creating army offices that don't exist. Because according to the army, I quoted them, there's no such thing as an acting chief of army staff. So those are some of the questions. But of course, we've already highlighted the security situation in the country. So maybe that's why the commander in chief has felt that this is an extraordinary uh, moment in history, a peculiar moment that needs such an intervention. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Bimba and Rufai. So you have seen it. Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> do you wish him alive? <laughs> Drop your comment on the comment section, I beg. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, right? Thank you and God bless you.